It was a frightening scene in New Bedford earlier today when a car crashed into a home, missing the homeowner by just feet. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in New Bedford tonight with what police say happened and what the homeowner had just finished doing when that car crashed through the wall. Hi, Steph. Caroline, this car crashed almost all the way through this one story ranch. It's being boarded up as we speak. The homeowner was inside, but remarkably unhurt. All of a sudden I heard this explosion. Judith Rigo says she was in her bedroom when this Audi came crashing through her house. The car went through my living room, my dining room and half of my bedroom. Rigo had been in the living room just 20 minutes earlier. She says waxing the floors. So I moved the furniture and I did half the room and then I got tired. So I said, oh, I'm going to go and lay down for a minute. And so I uh, so I did. The car missed her by feet. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. You know, a house can be replaced, but people can't. Overall, not a bad outcome considering what happened. New Bedford North District Fire Chief Jeff Pothier says the woman driving the car was taken to the hospital but was not seriously hurt. She told police her accelerator got stuck and she couldn't stop. She must have been going at a high rate of speed. She, she went right through the foundation and up right, right through that house. She landed on her, on, on her side. Once the car was towed away, you could see what's left of Rigo's house. Somehow these china plates unbroken among the destruction. The floor she'd just been cleaning now covered in debris. I guess I don't need to worry about waxing the other half now. <laughs> the 72 year old in good spirits even a short time after losing her house because she escaped unscathed. Well, I believe in God <laughs> and this is Christmas and God took care of me. And you can see we already have cleanup crews here, restoration crews boarding up this house. It is quite destroyed inside. Now, Judith tells me she did lose some sentimental items, but the house itself is covered by insurance. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. A New Bedford woman is thankful to be alive after a car came crashing into her, into her home this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke with the homeowner. She joins us now live from New Bedford with the latest. Steph. Restoration crews are just about finishing up boarding up this house here in New Bedford. There was a car right in the middle of it just a few hours ago. We're told everyone is OK. In between debris and broken glass, you can see some of Judith Rigo's possessions destroyed, strewn about her lawn. But the 72 year old is in remarkably good spirits. I'm going to look at the look at the glass as being half Full. Rigo was in her bedroom Thursday afternoon when this Audi came barreling through the other side of her house. The car went through my living room, my dining room, and half of my bedroom. And you were and in it, the bedroom? And I was in the bedroom laying on the bed. Rigo says she had just taken a break from waxing her living room floor when it happened. The car missing her by feet. I believe in God. <laughs> and this is Christmas. And God took care of me. So I guess I don't need to worry about waxing the other half now. <laughs> police say the woman who was driving the car is OK. She told police her accelerator was stuck down. She couldn't stop. As the car was towed away, the damage came into focus. Rigo's organ wants her mother's in pieces. Can't replace it because it was my, my mother won't sit at it. Despite it all, she kept smiling. I'm so grateful. You know, a house can be replaced but people can't. And the driver of that car was taken to the hospital. Police tell us she was not seriously hurt. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.